All right. Hello, everybody. What's going on, everybody? Let's see who's in here. We got Baby Light 35. Welcome. Patterson Cole. What's going on? And MA2 Fletcher. What's up, dude? How are you guys doing tonight? Everybody doing all right? Everybody doing good? I hope you're doing good. Hope you had a good day. I'm doing good. We had a good night. We had a good day today and a uh, pretty good evening. Uh, so yeah, doing, doing just fine. Had a great day today. So yeah. How's everybody else doing? Uh, let's see. Title is correct on here. Fletcher, what does it say for you? It should say, uh, Phoenix to Wenatchee, I think. Oh, thanks Fletcher. Yep, we're going to go over that here in just a second. Just trying to give it a couple of minutes for anybody else to pile on through. Baby Light, you're doing good? That's good. Glad to hear it. Fletcher's doing good. Glad to hear it. Glad everybody is doing well. Hope you guys had a good Friday. Anybody do anything fun? Anything fun and exciting today? I don't know. Let's see. Make sure we got everything running here. Uh, looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, let me know if the stream goes a little wonky at all. I'm trying to run at 1080p, uh, 60 frames a second here. I, I did some setting changes, so hopefully it's working. And uh, you guys are getting a much crisper video. Baby Light, it says Long Holland Phoenix to Phoenix to Wenatchee, Vipers 389. That's it. That's the right title. Okay, so... Basically, this is not the truck I was driving yesterday, as I'm sure some of you have noticed. Uh, this is this is a mod by a guy by the name of Viper. Um, this is a Peterbilt 389, and uh, I've modified it using the settings in-game, and kind of built my own rig, so this is her. She's very pretty. I love it. Well, yeah, so let's pick up a load, and uh, we'll get on the road here. We will get this show on the road. Let's see. Let's go. Nope, I did not mean to do that. Well, that works. We'll go here. And we are going to pick up a load from Walmart. And yes, I have, I updated today also for the real company logos mod today. So is that a sleeper one? Yes, it is. I'll show you, I'll show you the inside of the truck here as soon as we get, uh, as soon as we get set up here. All right. I don't really like that route, but oh well, we'll deal with it. All right. Set GPS destination. All right, let's get inside the truck, and uh, we'll put the drone away and go from there. All right, so this is the inside of the truck here. See, it's got some uh, nice little storage compartments. We got finally got a CB radio up there. Not that it actually works, but uh, this is the dash. Kind of, an, it's an older truck, so it's got that older dash style. Um, but this is the interior here, passenger seats, and then here is the sleeper. Uh, the sleeper section of the cab. Pretty nice. We got some storage up there. Probably a fridge right there. Microwave, TV. You know, just just stuff to keep me busy while I'm sleep while I'm chilling off the road. And uh, yeah, so here we go. We are going to Walmart to go pick up our load. Let's see what we got. We are also running a very beefy engine in this thing, so. We're going to be, the risk of speeding is going to be very high. Especially in town, because it's 25 miles an hour. Alright. Alright, so what's everybody been up to? Playing games. I know, Fletcher, you're working. I know that much. Let's see. All right.
right, we're going to turn right up here and head over to Walmart. Let's see. It's kind of a blind corner. All right. That dashboard would confuse the crap out of you. Yeah, it's it's a bit confusing. It takes a bit of getting used to. But it's not too bad. All right, here we go. Pulling into the Walmart. Apparently Walmart bought out the Walbert, so now we're going to Walmart today. All right, let's let them know we're here. Let's see what options we have as far as trailers go. Well, we're picking up for Walmart, so we'll just do the Walmart. That sounds good to me. All right. Let's see. What else do we have? Ooh, we have a Coca-Cola trailer that we can do. Ooh, I love Coke. Drink it all the time. But we're going to go with Walmart today. I think that one would be just fine. And we'll take job. All right, where's my trailer? Trailer's all the way over there. Ooh, it's a big boy. All right. And it's this one here. Little soft cider. Little soft cider. No big deal. All right. Here we go. And up and spin it. Nah, we can do better than that. That is terrible. Look at that alignment on the right side there is just horrible. Alright, that's better. We'll just go ahead and back it up now. Oh, swing that back in this way. That's a little better. That's a little better. All right, now if we can just get out of here. All right, let's see. Let's get out of reverse. I'm learning how to make custom character in Skyrim using the race menu mod. Oh, that's fantastic. Custom characters are always fun to run. Kind of uh, helps the immersion of the game. No matter what game it is, whether it be Skyrim or something else. Alright, which way am I turning? I'm going left. Out of here. Alright. Let's see. Looks like we're good. Alright, here we go. And we're clear. There we go. Now to get out of town without getting pulled over. That's the trick. All right. Turning left here. I'm so frustrated with Ark right now. I've had a bunch of issues with dinos getting attacked. And building my permanent base, finding location, has been so hard to find. Oh, that's no good, man. It's always good to try to set up a... Um, is anybody going to go, or are you just waiting for me? Um, it's always good to set up kind of like a dino storage area or a fence area for your dinos so that you can protect them. And what map are you playing on as far as uh, the map? area oh there goes a pursuit right there with that helicopter all right it's 35 through here so we're gonna bump it up to 35 probably should have got gas before i left but oh well let's see what are we looking at uh 1727 miles that'll be all right for now
<laughs> that is true, Fletch. You did steal that spot from me, but that's okay. We're good with it. You got there first. And it is a great spot. It's a fantastic spot. be a little hard to see out of my mirrors. I've got my chat window right there. So, oh well, we'll make do. I found a spot in the Highlands, but it's on a little slope in Ragnarok. You know, the view, the waterfall cave up the hill from the small bridge in the Highlands. I put a behemoth gate on that and have been breeding. Oh yeah, that's a good spot. It's a decent spot. I'm already exiting? Well, that's crazy. Alright. Sonora Desert Highway. Alright, here we go. I was going to build on a plateau in the highlands, but it's too close to the Wyvern Scar for me right now. Yes, and I will tell you that... Occasionally, if you built on that plateau, you would want to set up turrets because the wyverns do tend to... Oh, it's green. Crap, I gotta go. Um, the wyverns do tend to kind of come out and and go towards your base. That is what I was going to do on another server, but it was taken. But that's a good spot. I love where I am now though i can't wait for val to come out yeah i can't wait for it either dude val valgaro is gonna be so much fun oh. sorry I had to take a drink there throat is parched Yeah, you can use Plant Species X, but they don't, um, they will not take the Wyvern down in time. So by the time it gets close enough, it will actually, although, unless it puts it into hover. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That is a mess. Glad I'm not, I'm glad I'm not on that side of the road. Pardon me. All right. Speed limit 65. I'm currently doing... I have no idea because I can't read that. I'm doing 55. Not even 50. Okay. That's always fun. I wish tree platforms were a bit more modular and maybe could be connected and stuff like that. Yeah, tree platforms are kind of a pain. Can I get pulled over in this game? Yes and no. Uh, it's not getting pulled over kind of like in the traditional sense where a cop comes up behind me, turns on his lights, and... Um, I have to pull over for a traffic stop, but if I'm, if I am caught speeding by the cop, you know, I'll get a little notification saying I got a speeding ticket and you'll see, you'll hear a little siren and see the cop, uh, with his lights on cop will just flip his lights on and I'll get a ticket. So, um, but yes, you can get speeding tickets, uh, in the game. is a little precarious with a controller. Tonight's going to be a lot of turning from what I can tell. We're going to be doing a lot of technical stuff here on the drive. Let's go. Oh, there's a train. Look at the train. I need to get the longer trains mod. Oh, he's got Walmart, Best Buy, some more Walmart. On my friend's non-dedicated Ragnarok server, we're building a village of sorts where Ryan built his castle season one. I kind of want to move there, but I also want to mix it up. 
Yeah, it's a, it, it, dude, it's a good spot. It is a good spot. I would really need a digital dashboard in a truck or a car. Yeah, digital dashboards really do help. Um, makes It makes seeing things a whole lot clearer. But uh, to get them nowadays, they're, unless you buy a car with it already installed um, straight from the factory, they are uh, kind of expensive to put in. Because you're talking about buying a screen... And then they have to load software on there so that it shows all of your all of your indicators and stuff like that. And then hook it up to the computer in the car, which can be a pain. But digital dashes are nice. I had one on my first car and it was it was fantastic. All right. Looks like we are turning right up here. I don't know if this both lanes turn. Oh, it does look like both lanes turn. Okay. What? This is a roundabout? That's a cop. Okay. Okay, there we go. I do not like roundabouts. I don't know why they built them in America. I don't know why they put them in games like this. But, oh well. What are you going to do? Sixty five. There we go. All right. Passing the county line. I will say I wish I could change the color of the lights. I know there's a mod for it, but I have to find it. Do you know if an RG can carry a Dodic? Yes, an RG can carry a Dodic. Yep, in the claws. That rig looks like a hotel room. <laughs> Very fancy. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, Viper did a wonderful job on this. This is one of the most popular uh, truck mods from what I've seen in the game. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful mod. He did a wonderful job. And this is, the way I have it set up uh, is fairly tame to what you can actually do to it. Um, you can put lights, you can literally put lights all over this thing. And uh, it is, it, it lights up like a Christmas tree. In the game, I don't ever plan to get a truck or car. Oh, in the game. Oh, gotcha. I never plan to get a truck or car. My mom hates roundabouts. Yeah, roundabouts are stupid. Do Dodo spawn in the desert? Yeah, Dodo spawn in the desert. They're out there. Check by the um check by the uh what's it called? Um check by the river and there is a uh there's an area to the left of the river uh going back towards uh like the the swamp and everything that is um a bunch of like shelf plates and if you fly underneath there you'll see uh more of the river and you'll see some dodics and stuff down there so yeah but yeah you can pick them up with an rg and there's plenty of them out in the desert army one two three four five six seven eight nine zero is now following. Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you, Army. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, yep. Sorry, dude. Call your insurance. Wasn't paying attention. Nobody saw that, right? Nobody was paying attention? That's good. Okay. As long as nobody saw it. We're good. <laughs> Oi. Simple 22 country. What's going on, man? Thanks for coming on by. Uh, really in Viking Bay? Okay, we'll check that out. I'll go check out that area in the desert. Yeah. 
Um, you can find them around Viking Bay, too, if that's where you're at. Yeah, go figure. I was kind of glancing over the chat, not really paying attention, and slammed into a Mustang. Oh, well. Hey, at least the cops were right there. They could take care of him. This is Slick Boy. I changed my name. Oh, okay. What's going on, buddy? Done any racing lately? No going tomorrow. All right. Well, well, good luck tomorrow, man. I hope the race goes well for you. Oh, come on, dude. How fast are you going? You're going less than 40. Less than 40. Wait, no. Less than 50. Wait a minute. 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, less than 40. There we go. Now he's picking up speed. We're going to have to do a little, looks like a little funny turnaround here. That's how my mom was hit. The other driver was not paying attention to his surroundings. Yep, ninety percent of accidents happen that way. Uh, knowing my luck, I will probably wreck and have to pay a hundred dollars, pay hundreds of dollars. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully not, man. Hopefully you have a good race day and don't have any issues. There we go. All right. Going to take the turn here. Hopefully we can get a straightaway here so we can get a screenshot of the truck and I can show you guys the truck and what happens if you hit someone? Well, you just missed it. <laughs> you literally just missed it. I slammed into a Mustang at a uh, traffic hazard. And he spun around and stopped in the road, and I just kept on going. But I get a fine. Uh, I got fined nine hundred dollars for the wreck. So, and it adds damage to my trailer and my truck, and so I'll probably take a penalty on that when I deliver the load. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? Can't the dude stop too soon and cut over? Can't stop a big rig. Still got some more switches. How long is the trip? If you set it earlier, I missed it. It's going to be about the same distance that we traveled yesterday. So we're going back to... Um, we're going to Wenatchee, which here I'll show you. Ah, we're in Arizona, finally. 75. For a while, I was winning every race last year. Well, there you go, man. You just need to get back in your groove. That's all it takes. Just find, you know, got to find your mojo again, so to speak. And... All right, let's get up this hill. And then here, I'll show you the trip here in a second. Nobody's around us. Okay, well, this is a good spot. All right, so here I'll show you the show you our route here today. So we start out down here at Phoenix. We're coming up all this all this way. Going to go through Vegas. We're going to go through Vegas. Set navigation because I screwed that up. 
And then we're going to come up here. All the way past here. And then through Oregon. And then right to Wenatchee. So we're going here. We started here yesterday. So it's it's pretty close to about the same about the same drive. So, um, you know, so there we, there we go. But, uh, but yeah, that's the drive. And we'll exit out of here. And go back. All right. It's because I broke my arm and I have never really tried as hard lately. I, I understand how that goes, man. I understand how that goes. It, uh, you know, it takes a, it takes a bit to get that, uh, get that courage back and after taking a wreck and hurting yourself, it, it, it does take a minute, but you'll get back there. You'll get back there. No worries. One day you just have to say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to do it. Oh, there's that Mustang again. I guess he's trying to chase me down. Go away, Mustang. Because someone ran up on... I broke it last year because someone ran up on my cart. Oh, wow. Pray and ask God for help and protection in your race for you and your car. Yes, that's... That, that will help. That is for sure. Let's see here. Oh, come on, Greyhound. Move it. Am I stuck on something? What's going on? Great. Thanks, dude. What did he say? What did who say? I need to get back on my PS4. Arc has caused me to stop some games I started. Yep, it'll do that. Pretty much any game that you get to. I don't know. You said something. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Baby Light on Yahoo or on on Yahoo on YouTube said, "Pray and ask God for help and protection in your race for you and your car." It's always a good thing to do. Let's see here. You can turn right on red. Yes. Yeah. Just we had, had a little bit of traffic uh, coming my way, and this trailer's kind of long. So I was like, I'll just wait. No big deal. Plus, it gives me a second to read the chat and kind of catch up. Let's get over. There we go. All right. We're moving now. Should be getting to Vegas here pretty soon. Man, the scenery is so real on this. Yes, it is. It is very real. Looks very nice. They did a wonderful job with the scenery in here. They probably think I'm in NASCAR or something. <laughs> yeah. Could be, could be. You do kart racing, right? If I remember correctly. Sometimes I don't remember correctly because the old dad brain, but... I think you said you did kart racing. Oh, it is 75. Okay. Well, we're going to kick it up to 75. 75 miles an hour. All right, come on, get that Cummins diesel up there. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. All right, there we go. That's good. Drift go-karts, highest class. Okay. So it's definitely not NASCAR. But drift go-karts, that's got to be fun. That's got to be fun.
No dirt. Ooh, on pavement. Interesting. All right, let's see. Did I pass that truck? I did pass that truck. Okay. All right, let's see. Just trying not to crash on these turns here. I didn't mean, oh, dirt. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I see what you're saying. Dirt carts. There we go. I get what you're saying. Ooh, that sun is wicked. Need to bust out the sunglasses. Guys running beacons. And now it's 55. 55 miles an hour. And we'll kick it there. That guy's hauling hay. That's a lot of hay. That's a lot of dead grass right there. Here we go. Man, this is kind of a technical run. Quite a few turns here. Not like yesterday, where it was nice and straight in some areas. Yeah, drift is really hard because you have to drift around the corners. Yep. Sunglasses with your driver's with driver lens. Yeah. Aha! Viva Las Vegas. My wife is actually going to be in Vegas next week. My sister-in-law's getting married. I would go, but I can't fly, so... Alright. Turn right. I do dirt, though, because it's harder. Yeah, dirt... Dirt would seem like it'd be pretty challenging. But it'd be a lot of fun, though. It'd be a lot of fun. Oh, did he just hit something? Yep, he did. He hit that pole. Let's see. Why can't I fly? Um, there is... There's a tube in your ear that everybody's everybody has. And that that tube is a pressure release. So when you go like scuba diving or you go up in a plane and your ears pop, that's where your ears pop. And mine are actually swollen shut. So I my ears do not regulate pressure at all. And it's very painful. Big block, what's going on, buddy? Welcome to the stream. And Squirrel's here, too. What's going on, Squirrely? How are you? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Jacob Randall, sorry I'm late. No, no worries, bud. Haven't been driving that long. Welcome, welcome. Hope your day went well. What are you doing? You just ran a red light. Doofus. All right, let's see Doing some stuff on Arc. Fun, fun. Dave, what's going on, dude? Everybody's popping in now. Hey, not so late tonight to the dad cave. That's awesome, man. Glad you're, glad you're here. I'm speeding. What is going on, everybody? Did you guys... Dave, you have a good night? You have a good day, I should say? Good, good Friday. 
If I ever get back into the, into the ARC server, I'll be great. Is it giving you fits tonight? Big block. I gotta get over. I'm working on it, Chica. There we go. Alright, cool. Alright, let's take a look at Vegas a little bit here as we're chilling at a stoplight. It's more of a urban area today. Going through Vegas. Not really hitting the strip today. Dude, internet has crashed. Oh, whoops. I'm supposed to turn left. Internet has crashed three times today. Really been pissing me off. Oh, dude, that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. And now Ark is saying no sessions found. Um, try reloading the game. Dave, I'm feeling a little crappy, so I might, I might be just, I might be a little quiet. Just the joys of age, aches and pains. Just waiting for the meds to kick in. Love the day graphics. Oh, Dave, well, I hope you feel better, buddy. Believe me, I understand. I have beat my body to a pulp throughout my years. And uh, I have some of the aches and pains of a 60-year-old. So I, I hear you. I completely sympathize with you. But I hope you feel bad. I hope you feel better. And uh, thanks for coming by. Don't feel bad about being a little quiet. If you have to be a little quiet, you have to be a little quiet. Hey, it's just... I'm just glad you're here watching the game. Very beautiful game. I love it. Yes, it's gorgeous. I love this game. I love driving during the day. I love driving during the night. Game looks beautiful all around. But uh, what's the, uh, let me ask you this, what's the resolution that it's putting out on YouTube? I'm hoping it's 1080p, but I don't know. I'm going to have to get over, I think. Will I be on tomorrow? No, I won't. I don't stream on the weekends because that gives me time with the family and time to rest and kind of plan the, the week to come. So, um, I will not be streaming. I do not stream on Saturday or, um, Saturday or, or Sunday. 480 on your machine? What? That's not good. Okay, good, because I'll be racing. Well, that's good. There you go. What? You're telling me to go right. I'm going to follow the GPS. But you can kick it back up to 720. Okay. All right. So it's still not putting out a 1080p. Hmm. It's a little frustrating. A little frustrating. Because I know my machine will handle it. But... 1080, 60 frames a second for you. Okay, good. That's that's fantastic. That's what I wanted to see. That is awesome. How's it looking, uh, Cole? Does it look good? Is it streaming solid? No uh, skips or buffering, hopefully. I probably could turn it on on my phone, but... Then I'd have one more thing to look at. Looks good on Mixer. Fantastic. Fantastic. I have not seen a single cop on the side of the road in a minute. And I... Oh, it's 7.38. Okay, I'm going to turn those on. Not your fault, Zave. I remember... Remember, I have that northern Kanukistan internet. Oh, yeah, that's true. That is true. I had to bump my settings up. Okay. All right. Can they pull you over? They they can and they can't. Uh, they don't really pull you over. They just light up their lights and kick on the siren for a second, and then you get a notification saying you got a ticket. So you still get the ticket, but you don't get the fun of getting pulled over. Oh, look. <laughs> Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. There's a smoky right next to me. All right. 
Well, that's stupid. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, it would be more fun if they pulled you over, but, I mean, it's, you know, it's the mechanic of it all. People don't want to spend, you know, half their time pulled over to the side of the road. Let's not get into another accident at one of these today. That would be phenomenal. Yellow Mustang got pulled over. Shouldn't have been running from the cops, bud. Shouldn't have been running. They're going to catch you every time. All right. Came to your window. You have to give them everything. That would be cool. Yeah, it would. It would be fun if they actually did full-on traffic stops. That would be kind of fun. It should include police brutality mode. That would be, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. We don't need we don't need no reenactments of uh Rodney King here. Let's let's not do that. How's my fuel? Uh, 180 gallons. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. Oh, that is a nice Texaco station. I like that. That looks really good. There's they probably there's probably a mod for that somewhere. Yeah, there might be. There might be. There was talk about bringing it to um Truckers MP, which is the multiplayer mod for this game, for the for this game and for Euro Truck. So, who knows? Maybe it'll be out there somewhere. Which we might bring that to we might bring that to the channel. Uh do some Euro truck as well. Go driving through uh Germany and Italy and all that. Can't really think of countries. France. Uh maybe even Sweden. I don't know if Sweden's on Euro truck. I'd have to look. But that would be kind of cool. You know why I pulled you over today? Because you were going one over. Yeah, I was going one over. Yeah, driver's license and insurance. Yep. That should be the name for the gaming section for YouTube. There's probably a mod for that somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. I mean, that's where PC is kind of fortunate. Uh, you know, the, they do have access to mods and a lot of games have a lot of communities with modders in it and they make some pretty good ones. The sad part is, is that these, these companies are not seeing what these guys are doing and saying, Hey, why don't you come work for us? Do it professionally and we'll give you all of our assets. Okay. It's 50. So we're going to lock that in right there. And now it's 30. Never mind. What is going on up there? Oh, I think that's the diner. Is that the diner with the weird lights going on? No, I think that's... What in the world... That is the diner. Why is the diner freaking out? Oh, it's not. It's just my view. Oh, okay. It's getting a little worried there. If cops pulled me over for going one over. I would flip off. I would flip him off and take him to court. Yeah, I mean, if a cop pulls you over for going a mile over, that's that's pretty dumb. He's obviously like day one out on the job or his last day on the job and he's re about to retire. All right. Don't get hung up on anything. There we go. Good, 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 good. All right. Here we go. Here we go. 
Ooh, raise hamburgers. Oh, don't you dare. There's like GTA NPCs out here. Gee whiz. All right. Anybody see any good movies recently? Anything I should check out? Even though... Uh, Ireland and Scotland, I hope. And yes, please bring streaming. Oh, yeah, you want me to bring... Euro truck over. I will do that. I will look into it. What's going on, Kirby? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Thanks for swinging on over. What are you up to? I can't see a thing. Oh, and now I got a truck coming at me. Awesome. I have a good movie. It's called Sit Down and Relax. Yeah. That is probably the best movie ever. All right. Now at least I can see. All right. Let's see. The Joys of Night Driving. Driving down the road, you can't see 30 feet in front of you. Hey, Kirby Movies. I keep hearing good things about Midsummer. if you're into horror movies. I am not. I do not like horror movies. I was scarred at a very young age from horror movies. So, I am not a fan. But I have heard good things about it. So, if you're into horror movies, go check out Midsummer. It's supposed to be really good. And it takes place in Sweden, doesn't it? What was the question? Uh, any good movies out that I should check out? Of course, I still have not sat down and watched um, Alita Battle Angel yet. I haven't had time. If you have Prime, The Boys is coming on the 26th, which was an excellent comic, and they have done it justice. I have seen that. I've seen the trailer for that. I am interested in seeing that, so I'll have to check that one out. Um, still haven't watched Stranger Things Season 3 yet. Haven't even started it. So, I guess I do have a lot to watch, as it is. Alita, it was amazing. Yeah, I'll get to it, hopefully, sometime this weekend. If not, uh, I'll probably watch it Sunday night. I've been making drag cars on Car Mechanic Simulator. Dude, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. We're probably going to be bringing... Uh, I'm consi I'm thinking about bringing a... Uh, kind of like a Let's Play kind of deal. To the channel. So I'll be recording some episodes. And having some pre-recorded episodes of Car Mechanic on on the channel. So look, look out for those. I think what we're going to do is... Uh, kind of uh, gas monkey garage it where I just take a car and and build it take a beater and and fix it up and make it look pretty make it run nice I've been putting 24s in the back and 16s in the front there you go Tell me what you think of Alita. We're waiting for the Blu-ray 23rd here. Okay, yeah, I will I will let you know. Um, I bought it on iTunes uh, the day it came out because I was interested in seeing it. And I, I have liked everything that James Cameron and Robert Rodriguez have done, so I figured, hey, I'll check it out. 
If you haven't seen it either, uh, Hellboy, the the new Hellboy starring David Hopper was actually very good. Really enjoyed that one. Um, what else? On my way home from work now. We'll be on the server when I get home. See you guys in a little bit. All right, Fletcher. Safe travels home, buddy. And we will talk at you later. Is Oh, boy. What is going on here? What in the world... I might be stuck here. There's a chance I might be. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's moving. Okay. Let's see. Are you going to let me through? Oh, it's a green light. That's why he was moving. Didn't even notice the lights. Go figure. End of construction. Now hopefully this dude picks it up. Let's pick up the pace. Yes, however, I wouldn't call the new Hellboy family friendly. Yes, I agree with that. The new Hellboy is definitely not family friendly. There is a lot of blood, a lot of gore, and quite a bit of language. Yeah, it's funny that everything... Funny how everything has moved back to R rating, even superhero movies. The new Joker movie is going to be R rated. What did you do, Deadpool? <laughs> well, I will say this. The new Joker movie, I don't know that I'd call it a superhero movie, and I honestly don't even think I would call it a movie. I don't think it should have been made. I think it is going to be artistically good from an artistic standpoint, but from a, from a, uh, comic book fan and a fan of the Joker, I just don't think it's going to be any good, but that's me. You know, some people may love it. I probably won't even watch it, but, uh, it's nice to see some of the grittier superheroes that are out there. It's nice to see them getting their, getting the movies they deserve with the R ratings because some of these guys are very, they are very dark and very gruesome. Deadpool was amazing. LOL. He was that way in the comics too. Yes. Deadpool was worse in the comics. Let's, let's be honest. Um, but yes, Deadpool, the Deadpool movies were fantastic. Ryan Reynolds did a wonderful job in those. The Hellboy, I feel, is now a lot more like the comics, which I'm a huge fan of when they can make movies closer to the comics. Yes, that is very true. Although they could have done without some of the uh, comic-y features of Hellboy. You know, the big cheekbones that stick out of his face, like 12 inches and stuff like that. I thought they, uh, I mean, they toned it down for the movie, but I still thought it looked funny. And my biggest complaint with Hellboy is, was the, uh, his stone fist, you could tell it was foam. I get the same vibe too, too far from the concept. I'm stoked to see Birds of Prey, but Joker not so much. Birds of Prey? Wait a minute, did I miss something? I mean, Birds of Prey used to be a, a old 90s TV show. About Barbara Gordon and who else? I think it was Barbara, Black Canary, and the Huntress? I forget. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've seen it. I gotta go. Sorry I couldn't stay long. No problem, man. Thanks for coming on by, hanging out hanging out with us for a little bit. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, if you If you want to catch the rest of it, feel free to swing on over to YouTube. And uh, you can see the rest of it there. 
Well, it had to be. Well, it had to different from Ron Perlman. And yeah, the fist could have been. Yeah, I agree. It had to be different from Ron Perlman. Batman's daughter. Yes, that's right. That's right. It's been a while since I've seen that show. The movie Batgirl, Harley Quinn, and Black Canary, Huntress, etc. Out February. Yeah, dude, send me some material, man. I want to check that out. And I can't see anything. This is hilarious. I feel like I'm actually driving at night. Um, Why is my truck decelerating? Oh, the hill. Okay. Speak? Uh, Caterpillar 3408 V8 engines double XP in cash oh are these all mods oh nice or at least or at least talks of one I think I missed a comment Kirby Different from the Ron Perlman. But yeah, the fist could have been better. Speaking of bad... Oh, there it is. Speaking of bad girl, there is going to be a TV series. Um, I know they're doing... I know they're doing Batwoman with... Uh, what's her name? Uh, Ruby Rose? Or Ruby Ross? Or I don't know what her name is. Um, the chick from... That chick from John Wick 2. Uh, I know she's playing Batwoman on the CW, and to be honest, I think it's a good casting choice. Baby Light comes through through again big time. Well done. Yeah, I'm going to have to check out those mods uh, and take a look. And I will say, I don't even know what the Nexus is, so please fill me in. I'm new to the whole PC side of things. Mods for this game on Nexus. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out because I know nothing about modding. I literally, like, this this truck and a couple other things were literally the first mods I've ever installed. And I took a chance on them to make sure that they wouldn't destroy my game. And yes, Kirby, or uh, not Kirby, Dave, yes, that's coming out in, uh, that is coming out in October. I am looking forward to it. All right. Let's see. Was that the same? Yes. That's the same one. The Nexus is the biggest modding website. I will check it out. I will definitely check it out. That is for sure. I did not know about that. And uh, like I said, I'm I'm fairly new to the PC side of things. So now that I know that, I know where to look. What were you hitting the brakes for, dude? We were booking. Take all that momentum out and just... Man, come on, dude. Heck yeah, also I hate my fat fingers, yeah? Mm -hmm. I can see how that would be a problem. I shouldn't say I can see that would be a problem. I have fat fingers too, so I know how that feels. All right. Come on, FedEx. Move your butt. Let's go. 
And now we're going uphill, so we're going at a snail's pace. I think this puts the axle down. Yes. That should help with the whole driving mechanic. I keep either pressing enter too soon or typing typing wrong things or a combination of the two. Yeah, I do it all the time. Do it all the time. Wow, this engine is just not happy with these roads. And I don't have that much weight on either. It's free and it supports 747 moddable games currently. Nice. We go hop on the server to prepare for the event. All right, buddy. All right, Kirby, we will catch you later. And I will see you on there for the event. Should be a fun time. So you got 100, still got 144 gallons. We're doing good on fuel. Need a little laughing gas in the lines. Yeah, that would be nice. A little pick me up. And always adding to that. Alright, here we go. And we're going to make a turn. Hit the dirt a little bit here. There we go. Alright. I'll leave the stream running in the background, though. Just won't be paying as much attention. No worries, bud. No worries at all. Looks like we got a tiny little gas station slash rest area up here. Coming up on the... Oh, that's on the left-hand side. Never mind. Oh no, it's on the right. It's on the right. Alright, here we go. That just wanted me to cut through the gas station. That's hilarious. Sorry, officer. Didn't mean to have my high beams on. My apologies. All right, we're just going to keep the pedal down because now we're switching to 70 miles an hour. It's 321 in the morning. Sun should be coming up soon here. See, and we still currently have 799 miles. All right, it's about halfway through. Whoa. I'm going to slow down a little bit here, because these roads are twisting on me. There we go. Now I can see, now I can see. Being able to see while you're driving is always a good thing. Yeah. All 
Every time. The sad part is my high beams are on my keyboard, so every time I go to look at the, uh, every time I go to turn them on, I have to look down at the keyboard and figure out where it is. So I have to take my hand off the controller for a second. Which always makes driving a little difficult. Oh, one of these again. They're doing a lot of road work on this path. Lots of construction. But it looks like it's getting brighter out. Yep, sun's coming up. Sorry, I haven't talked much. I've been watching while playing Ark. No worries, bud. No worries. I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving Carl just lurking. Oh, gotcha. I see. Let's see if I can get a quick drink in here. I honestly think I was just driving in oncoming traffic lanes right there. Oh, fantastic, baby light. Thank you so much. I will check that out after the stream. I appreciate it. What are you doing? Why are you going so slow? I just want to be on a normal freeway. These backcountry roads, though, are nice. I do like the scenery. We got the sun coming up. Looks like it might be a beautiful day. Except for that storm over there. Oh, we got parachuters. We got some skydivers. All right. You're welcome. Happy to help if ever and whenever I can. Well, I appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. Helps me figure out some of the stuff that I don't know. Hopefully we can find some good mods and bring them out and bring them on the stream. I do like this truck, though. This truck is beautiful. So many options. There, before it gets too... Before it gets too bright... We'll go ahead and do this and show you guys the truck at night. How it looks. Uh, why are you? Why will you not zoom out any farther? That is weird. And we'll go. There we go. So here's the truck. At night. Sunrise coming up back there. Looks pretty good. And turn the blur strength down. Focus and clean. And the field of view right about there. There we go. Alright. Let's get back to it. Here we go. We currently have 700 miles. 
Wow, we did not get very far. Either that or I just checked the distance five minutes ago and I'm not realizing it. Skydivers, why would anyone want to jump out of a perfectly good airplane? This is true. Mr. Word for Dub. Oh my gosh. Now there's a name I have not seen in a very long time. How are you, buddy? Big Ten Four Rubber Ducky. That's right, man. How are you doing, man? All right, turning left, getting on the freeway. All right, make that turn. Trailer's tracking nicely. Perfect. There we go. Doing well. Good to hear, man. That is fantastic. Let's get off the rumble strips. There we go. I'm about to find the next rest stop and grab a burger or something. I'm getting a little hungry. Let's get around this dude. Working, sleeping. Yep. Ain't that life. <laughs> that is just that's just how life goes, isn't it, sometimes? Really? I'm not going to make that. Yes, I am, because I'm going to force it. We're forcing it. Oh, boy. What mod manager do I use? I just use the one in game. The one that the Steam Workshop provided me with ATS. Cuz I'm fairly like I said I'm fairly new to the mod game, so I don't know any of this. I don't know any of the lingo or what to do. And I won't lie, I'm fairly intimidated by it. Here we go. Climb up the hill. You know, they really need to set this GPS up so that it tells you just a little bit further back when you're turning. Keep those on. I probably should keep my lights on too. Come to think of it, it's still not quite not not quite daylight out. We might be able to do this trip without even have to having to stop for gas. Winnemucca discovered. Daylight come and me want to go home. Yeah, no kidding. This trip has been twisty, man. I'll tell you. Kind of miss the old uh, interstate. Just chilling on the highway. But it's fun. It's a beautiful, beautiful scenery. And get to see some nice different roads. And this truck has performed beautifully. I really like this truck. Mr. Word 4Dub is now following all. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Definitely appreciate that. You missed it the other day. We had Toxin, and toxin on. And uh, I can't remember if... Uh, I can't remember if Retro joined. Yeah, Retro joined during the stream, too. 
We were playing uh, Elite Dangerous. Uh, there's Mr. Construction Cone Guy. You've never lived around Ontario, have you? Welcome to the hill and twisty land. Yeah, no, I've I've never lived around Ontario. The Nexus uses Vortex, but Mod Organizer 2 is better and more stable. You need to use you need one to use Nexus mods. Okay. Ooh, almost took out that sign. Was not paying attention. Reading the chat. I should move my chat window over just a little bit. Game looks sweet. Yeah, dude, it's it's so much fun. You would love this. You would love this word. It's just trucking. And uh it's a beautiful game. Yes, it is uh it is on PC. On the Steam store. And my computer's freaking out. It's like, what are you doing? It's too hot in here. You'll be fine. I think next time I need a different engine in this truck. Let's see. Welcome back, Cole. Welcome back. Because they are they are third party as in not related to Steam. Yes. That I do know. Um, I know that uh, I know that there is a way to install third-party mods into ATS, but if there's software out there that will manage it for me, then I will gladly download it. Ooh, this is a nice road. Look at this. Nice long stretch. What in the... Did you guys see that truck just sitting off at the side of the road back there? I feel like that was an omen. Like it was telling me to turn back or something. Scale is it one to one? No, I wish. I wish it was one to one. It is. Uh, I don't really know what it is. Couldn't really tell you what the scale is. It's probably, if I had to guess, it's probably closer to like twenty to one, if I had to guess. But it still takes a good minute to get from to get where you're going, depending on how far you're hauling. We're going from Phoenix to about the middle of Washington state. So it's going to take probably almost the entire stream to get there. So about two hours. But, uh, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's also a multiplayer mod for it. That is, uh, I mean, it's all right. You get a lot of, people just running you off the road and crashing into you and stuff, but yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Still impressive. Yeah, it, it's great. And there's a couple of, there's actually a couple of mods out there that because the makers of this game haven't finished the entire country yet. We're as far as Washington right now, Utah is coming out here in a few months, probably by September, maybe if not, then Christmas. Um, but there are mods out there that do the rest of the map. And I've heard that it could take five, six hours to get from California to New York. 
So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. And they have Canada and they have Mexico. Snow zone. What? Ark is killing me right now. Oh, that's too bad, Cole. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Art can be frustrating. It can be frustrating. I can't tell you how many times I tried to build and the game would not let me build where I wanted to build. And it was just like, I'd get 99% of the way done and it just wouldn't let me put that last wall down and I had to figure a way around it. All right, 65. 65 miles an hour. Always fun. Everything looks pre pretty realistic to me. Environment conditions. You don't want to drive in this in this country. LOL. Skylight, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's an it was an open air concept, you know. Just build the house and leave a wall out. You know, just getting some fresh air. That's all you need. Mod Organizer 2 is what I use. It's easy and very stable. For example, I have 271 mods in my Skyrim. Wow. That is a lot. And it's super stable. All right. Yeah, I will definitely check that out because I know nothing about mods or load orders or anything like that. So, oh, good. I get to bypass. I don't want to turn left. Why are you making me turn left? All right, I'll turn left. Fine. I was enjoying that road. Oh, well. The only thing we're missing is twisters. Give us some, like, big storms with some twisters. That would be awesome. Very proud of you for showing up at the Skyrim streams when you have zero interest in the game. Yep. Yep, I'm there strictly for the conversation. That's that's me. It's, uh... No, if it was anybody other than Ryan, I wouldn't show up. I'll be honest with you. If it was anybody other than him, I'd be like, nope, I'm not showing up. Not going to do it. Oh, wow. Look at this road. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this on my scale, but it is just beautiful. That long road splitting off into the hill. Granted, it's 60 miles an hour, and I was doing almost 75, but oh well. Sometimes you just got to hit the gas and go to get up the hill. I feel like he tinted the windows in this truck. I like it. That looks good. Oh, it's getting cloudy. We might get some rain here. Which would be nice. I'd like to see some rain. It's been kind of a... I haven't seen rain in a couple of days. I think I saw a meth lab. You may have. You may have seen a meth lab back there. I really like the graphics of this sim. Yeah, dude, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, boy. Gotta slow it down. Yeah, the graphics on this are, are absolutely amazing. And uh, the nice thing is you don't need a whole lot of power in your PC to run this. And uh, so with the PC that I've built, I can actually run this at pretty high settings. And uh, it looks it just looks amazing. And uh, I, I love it. It looks so realistic. This turn is 40 miles an hour. 
Got some hot air balloons in the sky. Very nice. Somebody's enjoying the weather up there. I agree. Put the mod or organizer on the Discord. Thank you so much, Baby Light. I appreciate that. I will check that out this evening. There's another there's another paraglider. He's just having a good old time. Although depending on the wind, that could be the same one. I don't know. Maybe it blew him all the way over here. Oh, he just crossed the freeway too. Looks like. It's like we're going up in the hills a little bit here. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, that could have been bad if I hit that cop. Nice little farm. Some greenhouses. Here we go, and it's 55. Going down to 45. Entering burns. And now it's 35. Oh my gosh. For load order, I use loot, load order optimization tool. It will take care of the load order for you. Well, fantastic. I will check that out as well. That sounds like the first thing a person should put in. What's that? The mod organizer or the loot organ the the load order tool? It's probably a good idea. Like I said, I didn't I don't know anything about modding, so I've done a little bit with GTA, I've done a little bit with this, and that's about it. So, I will be looking at all of those and seeing if they can help me out. Thank you so much for the info, baby light. That is fantastic. I greatly appreciate it. All these farms out this way, I'm I, I'm surprised they're not integrating farm sim into this. Cause that would be great. Yeah, I wish we had I wish we had mods for Ark as well. There, Cole. Some of the mods out there are really nice. There was one hometown ship that Kim and I tried to use. Every time we attempted to enter it, we crashed. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. Bedtime for me. I'll be in touch. All right. All right, word. Well, thanks for coming on by, man. It was good to see you. We'll have to catch up sometime soon. It's been too long, man. You have a good night, and we will talk at you later. Castles, keeps, and forts, and Structures Plus would be so good on Xbox. Yeah, Structures Plus is a bit extensive, and apparently there were some issues with bringing everything over into the Xbox, from what I heard, with Structures Plus. So that's why they're implementing it in very slowly. Hopefully, eventually, we will have the full, uh, the full mod pack for that. Look at this. Look at these trees. This is beautiful. 
Nice row. We must be in either Oregon, in the northern part of Oregon, or entering Washington. Let's see. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I don't like some of the cheaty parts of S+. Yeah, I agree with you. But once you've once you've played if you played the game long enough, you finally get to a point where you're kind of okay with it. You're kind of just like, you know what? I just want to build. That's all I want to do. All right, so let's see. I think I'm going uphill because I'm. Yep, I'm definitely going uphill because that bus is flying. This is where a manual transmission would come in handy. I unfortunately do not have one. Oregon, get your smoke on, then get something to poke on. I'm thinking that was a sexual reference there at the end there, Dave. And this is a Christian Minecraft server? No, I'm just kidding. What's up, cop? You keep driving. Just leave me alone. Just ignore me. Here we go. It's all downhill from here. I hope. Oh, wonderful, Baby Light. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, hey, hey, if there's anything else, if there's any other questions I have, I will definitely direct them to you, because you are the mod queen from what I have seen with Skyrim and everything. So you know more about this than I do. Come on, we're in the opposite lane of traffic. That's not good. All right, there we go. Sorry, stealing from the next episode without using the word. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, yeah, okay. Now it makes sense. Now I know what you're talking about. Yep, that, that makes sense. And I'm currently doing 60 in a 50. That's okay. I don't care. I probably should, but I really don't. All right. Reduced speed zone ahead. So we're going to take off the cruise control there. Going through town. Ooh, somebody's having a birthday party. Power station. Max, what's going on, dude? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. Oh, finally. A stoplight. I can actually breathe and take a drink. Oh, how you doing, Max? Having a good day? I hope. All right, here we go. Let's make this left. Logan's. Tired. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Do you have a busy day? Busy, busy day. Okay, I will turn right. Yes, indeed. I've just had more practice with them, and I listen to someone, what someone wants for their game, and find it. Well, that is fantastic, and I'm, 
You know, we we all need people like that who are here to help us out. So thank you very much for the assistance, and I will definitely check those out. Thought I'd pop in until I head to bed. Well, fantastic, Max. Thanks for coming by, man. We are glad you're here. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Climb up this road. I don't know if that second axle does any good. So we're just going to pick it up and see if anything changes. Here we go. All right. So while we're just chilling driving here, kind of let you know what's going on coming up here. Uh, Monday is going to be Monster Hunter Monday. We are going to be playing Monster Hunter and kind of leveling up. It's If you don't know what Monster Hunter is, um, we played Dauntless on Wednesday if you were here for that. Monster Hunter is very similar, just a bit more in-depth and uh, a little bit different graphics, stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. We're going to be doing that on Monday, and then I don't know what we're going to do on Tuesday yet. Is there anything else I need modding-wise? Not that I know of right now, but if I do, if I come across something, I will let you know for sure. All right. Let's see, how far do we have to go? 304 miles. That is good, and that's a cop. I'm doing less than 50, so that's good. Didn't want to get a ticket. Nice little chicane, although usually you do those in race cars and not in semi-trucks. And I just found out today, apparently there is a semi-truck racing league on this game, so who knows? Must be fun, I'll have to check it out sometime. Woohoo! Talking about for Monster Hunter there, Dave? I need to get games on Steam. Games to st oh, you need to get games to stream. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, it's, you know, it's fun. Just got to find find the right games. Find the games you're interested in and uh, just stream them, man. Trucking Tuesday. Yeah, we could probably do something like that. Just have to, uh, going to be working on the plans for next week. Uh, here over the weekend and just trying to get a game plan going. Oh, I lost a lot of speed then on that, that turn. Didn't mean to hit the brakes. Monster Hunter is always fun to watch. Yeah, it's a good game, man. It is a fun game. Gonna probably have a few other people with me in the stream. I believe Kirby's gonna be there. And I don't know who else will be there, but we'll probably have a couple at least, because we're getting into some of the bigger dudes. I hopped off Arc, so I'll be talking more. That's great, man. Oof. I apologize for the herky jerkiness. I'm Constantly twitching my stick back and forth, my left thumb stick here, trying to maintain my lane and make these turns. I need to get a wheel. A wheel is in my future. Slow down, jeez. Well, yeah, no kidding. I probably should slow down during those, but by the time I realize it, Darth Vader 2019. Thanks for thanks for following, bud. Welcome to the stream. All right. Ooh, that could have been messy. Like a bug on a windshield. 
There we go. All right. Let's come around the corner here. We should be getting close. Deer. It's always nice to see wildlife in games. There's some horses back there that I just passed that probably nobody saw because we were going way too fast. Uh, just out here trying to show support for small streamers. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, I'm just starting out, so I appreciate the uh, appreciate the follow. Thank you, thank you. All right, it's nice little uh, nice little river there. Heading up the road. Man, this truck is nice. I really like this one. Glad I downloaded it. I'm a, a small streamer myself, too. There you go. Us little guys got to stick together. Cop is passing me. That's cool, man. You can you can just keep on going as long as you're as long as you're behind me and or in front of me and not behind me. We're good. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So, what games do you like to stream, there, Vader? I'm gonna flip over. Let's hope not. This is going to end up like the end of the Elite Dangerous stream the other day. With me dying in a fiery inferno. There we go. Let's do that. I can actually focus on... St oh, it's 35 now. Mostly American truck and Euro truck. And sometimes Star Wars The Old Republic. That's fantastic, man. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm probably going to be uh, bringing Euro Truck here to the channel here sometime soon. Uh, haven't even I haven't even tried it out yet. So, we will see. Max, think I'm going to think I'm going to stream either Destiny 2 or some good old GTA. Hey, there there you go. That's a plan, man. That is a plan. I'll watch some Destiny 2, man. Mainly because I've never actually played the game, so there we go. Other games I want to play, but play trying to save up for another PC computer rig. I get you there, man. Trying to upgrade your equipment. It gets expensive. Oh, goody. Red lights. Is this going to turn green right now? No. Okay, good. It's an interesting game, but a game everyone don't get into. Yeah, it's hard for me, really. I do not have a job on disability. Oh, man. Well, you do whatever you, do whatever you can and what you like to do. If you like gaming and can uh hopefully maybe make a little bit of a future out of it then give it a shot that's part of what i'm doing i just figured hey i'll i enjoy gaming so much i might as well start streaming and make it a hobby of mine so here we are but yeah man that's just keep doing what you're doing and everything will come in time that's the best advice anybody ever gave me so here I am just streaming and people watch, people watch. If people don't, oh well. I'll just keep doing it. I don't mind. I'm having fun. Save it up to update my video card and my PC. Well, that's good, baby light. Yeah, p graphics cards are expensive. Dave, sent you a DM on on the Birds of Prey and the fabulous and emancipation of one Harley Quinn. That's the full name of the movie. 
some behind the scenes picks, release dates, trailer, etc. Awesome. I will check that out for sure. I will definitely check that out. I mean, I would like to get paid from Twitch as a job for me to make money off streaming games I would like to play. Oh, no, not another one. Really? I think that uh, convertible just, like, belly flopped into the ground. You're a natural, natural streamer, bro. Real chill. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. All right. Hopefully it's not the same way on the opposite side of the freeway so that we can just loop around and pull a Yui. Let's see. Are they blocking the road off over there? It looks like it. Yep, they're blocking the road off over there. What do you know? All right. Going towards Portland. Oh, good, a rest area right here. We'll stop at the rest area and take a look at the map and see how we're going to maneuver this. Let's see here. Be right back. No worries, Darth. Are you going to go through? What are you doing? Okay, there we go. I will not go straight on. I'm going to park. All right, let's take a look here and see what we're looking at. So we are going... Oh, we don't have to change the thing. All right, cool. Where's that half? Because our accident was right over here at this exit going up towards the 80, going up towards I-82. So now it's taking us around this way and we're going to hit Highway 97 and then reconnect with 82 up by Yakima. Fantastic. Yeah, we're in Squirrel's Neck of the Woods, aren't we? Still in Oregon at the moment, but we'll be out here shortly and then into Washington. You're getting good ma gas mileage in that truck? Yeah, I'm getting really, it's really nice. It is really nice. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's see, what do I got? I got 58 gallons left, 426 miles. What is my current... It's not going to tell me because it wants me to pull forward. There we go. 227 miles. All right. Yeah, we, we're we going to make it on a full tank, on one tank of gas. This is great. Or, sorry, one tank of fuel. I keep saying gas. I don't know why I say gas. It's diesel. While you're in the Northwest, you should hop on over to Idaho and say hi. I Dude, I would I would if I could. But uh, Idaho is not in the game yet. Unless I download like one of the one of the coast to coast mods or uh, what's the other one? Uh, Pro mods, I think, is what it's called. Oh, I may have just messed myself up here a little bit. Let's see. Come on, come on. Driving on the curb a little bit. That's okay. It's all right. There's no pedestrians. Nobody mind me. Just pay no pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. There we go, and we out of here. That was a tight fit. I should have went closer to the end. All right, now comes the fun part of merging on the freeway when these guys like to stop. Yep, see, we got a lineup going on right here. See, where I live, this would not, this would not happen. Truckers just barrel onto the freeway and push their way through, which is what I'm going to do, actually. This is what we call a Detroit merge. Okay. 
Gas and fuel are the same things, aren't they? Actually, no. They are not considered the same thing. Gas is a, is a fuel. It is a type of fuel. However, uh, gas is not equivalent to diesel. It's a whole, like, chemical thing, explanation kind of thing, and it's it's just... Essentially, you could... You could technically make gas from diesel, but you can't make diesel from gas. Just like when you uh, when they fill up a, a airplane or a jet, they don't call it jet gas; they call it jet fuel. It's a different uh, chemical makeup, different uh, process of refining. If my stupid mechanic brain would remember the actual terminology, I could I could spit it out there, but I for some reason it's not working. What is the difference? Gas, okay, so with when you get when you look at a gas pump, if you've ever looked at a gas pump, there are numbers on a gas pump. You get 87, 88, and 89. That is considered the octane level of the fuel. So gas has a very high flash point, which is what the octane level is. Um Gas needs fire to burn. Diesel works off of compression. So in an autom- in a automobile, in your standard car, there are things called spark plugs. So as your engine is running, your spark plugs are actually creating a spark which lights the fuel. And in that pr- in that process, it blows up the fuel, creating many explosions, thus driving your pistons to make your car go. In... A diesel engine, it doesn't work that way. Basically, the piston comes up, the fuel gets sprayed in there, and then it's squished very, very hard. And so as that piston comes up, it's squishing the squishing the uh, the diesel fuel so much so that it will actually explode. And, you know, the atoms get so close together and they, they just start bumping into each other and it, it blows up. With gas, you can throw a match in gas, and it will blow up. It will light, it will ignite, and you'll have a big old fire. With diesel, you can throw a match in diesel, and it will not burn. I know that was a very scientific explanation, but for some reason, that's where my brain went. But that's just kind of the thing. Diesel diesel has a much lower flash point than gasoline, because it's not as refined. It's It's much more... Much more of a crude oil fuel than gasoline is. Unlike jet fuel, of course, which if you put a match anywhere near jet fuel, it will light the entire town on fire. A lovely bridge. I was hoping to be able to get closer to um, Seattle and areas like that so we could go on some of the drawbridges and the ferries and stuff, but sadly, we couldn't get there. Did not have a load going up that far. My goodness, they're pulling people over left and right today. Oh, that's an accident. That's a big difference. Yeah, it's a huge difference. Oh, look at the wind farm over there. Very nice. Oh, well, good. I'm glad. And you're welcome. I say, sometimes my answers can be a bit super technical. Like my wife will ask me a question and, and I'll have like a Bill Nye the science guy moment where it's just like, <laughs> the actual science behind this product is this, 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 and this. And she'll just look at me like, what in the world? She's like, I don't understand that. English, dude, English. 
So I'm glad you understood that. All right, turning right. Fifty-five. I believe we're in Washington now. I thought I saw the sign back there. Squirrel, do you recognize any of this? Anybody else from Washington recognize any of this? I don't know. I could still be in Oregon. I don't know. Way station three quarters of a mile. Amen. There we go. Are you going to make me get weighed? I don't. Th have I been. Have I had to stop at one of these this entire trip? I don't think I have. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I have not had to stop at a weigh station, I don't think, this entire time. That is fantastic. All right, 60 miles an hour, let's get it up to speed. Oh, sun's going down. Sun's going back down. I don't know what it is. I feel like the nighttime is a lot longer than the daytime in this game sometimes. I've been to Washington, but I don't recognize any of that. Yeah, I, I honestly wouldn't expect anybody to recognize it, but um, just because it's a, you know, they took the country and squished it. So, ooh, Yakima. We are in Yakima. Anybody need a car rack? You know, a roof rack for your car, maybe a bike rack for your hitch, because we're in Yakima. You can get it here. In, sci in science and school, I did very well. Very nice. Jargon is always the danger when you're in a professional field, whether it's teaching, mechanics, the law, or doctoring. Yes, this is true. This is very true. And, I mean, to be fair, as a mechanic, like, we don't talk about the differences between diesel and gas all the time it was just something i learned in school way back when so it's trying to you know trying to remember that information it was a little a little difficult but it's something that i have dealt with very very frequently all right let's see we're going that is main street am i getting off here nope And it's 60, and I'm doing 50, and that secondary map is driving me nuts, because I forgot to turn it off, and this dude is stopping on the on-ramp. Really, dude? I honk at you. Yep, we gone. And now he's cutting me off. Okay, great. That's good. All right, cool. Oh, there he goes. Back into the... What is this dude doing? Did you have a few too many beers at the truck stop? Because you're all over the road, buddy. Or maybe that's me all over the road. I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Come on, truck. Get up to speed. Let's pass this dude. They might be waiting on traffic. Could be. Very well could be. We're also going uphill, so... You know, it's a good sim when the road rage is real. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. When you actually get frustrated at the drivers, you know it's a good sim. Or he's on a cell phone. Yeah, he could be. Too busy talking on the CB. It's like, get off the radio, bud. Whoops. Hit my blinker there. All right. 
Going over a bridge to Ellensburg. I love these bridges. I love them in real life, too. Need to get smoother on those turns. And we're back down to 45. Here we go. Oh, look, it's a Tesla. That was a Tesla that just passed us. Seattle to Spokane. Well, it looks like we started this trip. Did we start? No, we didn't start this trip in the in the nighttime. Oh. Started it during the day, and now we're going back back into night. Yes, it does. It does take a lot of practice. That is very illegal here. No distracted driving. They will bust you for eating a sandwich while driving, let alone using a handset. Hands-free is fine. Yeah, they have, uh, we have laws here as well that restrict the use of, uh, the use of phones while you're driving. Trip started in the day. That's what I thought. Um... Some cities actually have a law, basically have uh, stipulations on the law that says if if you're eating, you know, if you stop at McDonald's and you take off down the road and you're eating a cheeseburger, they can pull you over for distracted driving. So I mean, distracted driving is no joke, though. I mean, you can uh, a lot of people get injured or killed due to distracted driving. Oh, I'm running out of fuel. No, I'm good. So I think we should be here. No, this is Ellensburg. All right. Okay. Anybody got big plans for the weekend? Anybody doing anything fun? I will be cleaning my house, cutting the grass, doing some things I haven't been doing all week because, well, it's the week and I usually save them for the weekend. Might go see a movie. I don't know. There we go. Green arrow. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Well, that's actually a halfway decent truck stop right there. See how far do I have to go? I have 55 miles. Yep, we'll be fine. Oh, what did I just do? Hit the F4 key by accident. My big fat fingers. Yep, 
Now, hopefully we don't run out of gas here and then I have to call a tow truck because that would just be horrible. They need that here, Ben, halogen headlights, and those blue-white lights are bad. The story the police used, and I fully support them, was a guy on the big highway in Toronto trying to eat a sub while using his wrists to steer a van. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Kind of like that. Ugh. Reach back had a bug on me. It's always fun. Nobody saw that, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. City will charge me for the delineator. It's okay. It's all right. Come on, truck. This is when I wish... Come on. Shift. There you go. Oh, look at that. It's raining. Didn't even notice it was raining. There we go. Twenty seven miles to go. We are almost there, folks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm sure everybody saw it. Streamlabs, I thought I turned you off, bro. TOS. What in the world? Alright, we're going to turn right here, catch the freeway. Sadly, halogens are the only ones sold here now in the name of energy efficiency. I agree they are a pain. Talking about halogen headlights? Because I think the ones you're thinking of are their HIDs, which is a high-intensity discharge, uh, basically a high-intensity discharge diode. Um, and what it what it does is it heats up and then produces light and then has a focusing lens in front of it that actually projects the projects the light out. Did you do something wrong? Uh baby light, no you didn't. Uh I f must have forgot to click the uh emoji, the excessive emoji uh moderate or er, uh moderator option. So the moderator saw all the emojis and said, oh, that's too many emojis. I need to stop that. So uh, that's what happened. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just my uh, I need to rename the, the Streamlabs bot to Mr. Strickland. But um, no, it's it, you're good. You're good. I still see the message. So you are a OK. And I will fix that when I get off here tonight. And we have shut down everything else. Because I thought I turned it off, because it was driving me nuts that it was doing that to people. <sighs> really, cop? Oi. All right, destination's right up the road. We are going to deliver and we'll be good.
Oh, it's been a good trip. Minus a couple little oopsie moments. But it's been a good trip, good trip. Let's see, we've been streaming. Oh, we're actually over two hours. Look at that. Here we go. Coming down the road. All right. Come on, Mustang. Get past me. There you go. I have a feeling I'm going to have to make a left-hand turn here. All right. Going straight through. Oh, I'm going for it. Who are we delivering to? I gotta remember. You forgot more about cars than I'll ever know. You're likely right. I just remember people complaining about all the super bright headlights out there. Also, Americans complain when we... And I wait patiently. Oh, it's green. What am I doing? Oh, we're going to Whole Foods. Look at that. Good old Whole Foods. All right, so we're going to do that because I'm not very good at backing in. Where are we going with this? Oh, I bet you it wants it over there. Were you, oopsie, were you distracted driving? Yeah, it kind of was, actually. All right, where does it want me to put this? Oh, right there. Okay, cool. Also, Americans complain when we drive down to Florida because you can't turn them off. And when you go through southern states, lights on in the daytime. Yep. That is true. That is very true. Uh, let's see. How are we looking? Uh, we can straighten out just a little bit more. Uh, turn the hazards on. All right. Let's see. What are you sitting on that's making you roll that way? What in the world? That was weird. All right. That looks pretty straight. Yeah, that's good. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I didn't even get docked for the I didn't get docked for the uh little accident that we had. That's that's great. That is really good. All right. Well, with that, we're going to go ahead and end off today's stream. Thank you so much to everybody for hanging out with me. Baby Light, Dave, uh everybody that's everybody else that's in the stream. Uh, thank you for coming on by, hanging out with me tonight. Um, I will be back on Monday, and we'll be doing, like I said, we'll be doing uh, Monster Hunter Monday and playing uh, playing some Monster Hunter, killing some monsters, and having a good time. And, uh, yeah, so that'll be that. Uh, if you guys If you guys want and haven't done so already, there is a link in the description for our Discord. Uh, feel free to join that, hang out with us there. We've got a great community going on. Um, real chill, real nice place to be. Um, and, uh, if you, if you want to help the stream out and want to donate, we do have a donation link down there in the description as well. That will help me get, you know, more games, more stuff, uh, to help, uh, kind of keep this thing going and bring you guys some more entertainment. The Arid 2013 is now following. Thank you so much, Arid. Uh, thanks for coming on by. Hope you, hope you like the stream. 
Um, but yeah, so thanks guys for coming and hanging out with me down here in the dad cave and, uh, we will see you guys next time. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys on Monday.